Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Chase here at Rocky Mountain. Thank you so much for checking in. So today I have the new Union Mountain Bike shoe lineup from Fox Racing. They have three options. You have the Union Flat, the Union, and the Union Boa. These two are actually clipless. And today I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna talk about all three. I'm gonna talk about the differences between these and help you decide which one might be best for you. Now, before I dive into the differences between these, I wanna let you know that I had a good conversation with the people over at Fox Racing and they explained to me that this shoe is about two years in the making. They did a lot of testing. So, and they have Greg Menar and a lot of the top mountain bike riders in the world that were testing these for the last couple of years. And uh, I know that they skipped no steps. This is a hard market to break into with, when it comes to mountain bike shoes. There's just a lot of really solidified brands that have been around for a while that make great products. So if you're gonna come into this market, you've gotta do it right. And so Fox, they did their homework, the research, and. I really feel like they've come out with a really good mountain biking shoe. Now, as far as the fitment goes on these, so I've tried these on, haven't ridden them yet, but for me, a size nine, very comfortable. Fitment's true to size. I'm gonna say it's kind of a medium width. So I have pretty wide feet and they weren't too narrow for me, but they're definitely not a very wide shoe. Um, so just wear the same or get the same size that you would in your normal tennis shoe. Remember, these do fall into our fit guarantee program. So if you buy a pair of these, you try them on, they're just not exactly what you need. You can send them back in brand new unused condition and we'll ship you the right size and we'll give you free shipping on that first exchange. And of course, you all know that we ship for free over 75 bucks. Now, one slight difference that I do wanna point out is that between the Union and the Union Boa, I did feel like the Union Boa was just a little bit narrower. Not by a lot, but that's just kind of something I noticed because obviously when you're doing the, the Boa lace system versus a shoelace, it's gonna be just a slight different fit, but so maybe just a touch narrower, but not that big of a difference. All right, so let's talk about these. So first up, you just have the Union Flat. Now what's nice about all threes is they all share the same construction. So it's a one piece upper with welded seams, but it's a, it's a mesh fabric that they use for the upper. And the reason for the mesh is one, helps keep the shoe lightweight, but it also helps it breathe. But then over top of that mesh, they actually have a TPU coating. And there's a couple of reasons for that. So first, weather resistance. If you ride in wet conditions, that TPU is gonna help keep a lot of the water out. Now it's not waterproof, but it is very water resistant, but you still have some perforation on the toe box and on the side here to help these things breathe as much as possible. But another benefit to that TPU is it just helps the shoe keep its shape. So even after you've got a lot of hours on these things and they're really broken in, that TPU is just gonna help them maintain that shape and that fit that you would expect when you buy these brand new. Now keep in mind too that mountain bike shoes, they are going to be stiff, a lot stiffer than just a regular tennis shoe. So if you've ever worn just say a pair of Vans skate shoes, a lot different. Now this Union Flat is gonna have a lot more flex than the Union and the Boa, and I'll explain why here in just a moment, but that's one of the big distinct, you know, distinguishing factors between a mountain bike shoe and just a regular shoe is that extra stiffness is really gonna give you more support on the bike. So when you're riding aggressive, you're riding downhill, that extra support's just gonna make your feet not as tired, and it also makes it more efficient if you're pedaling. So if you ride enduro, cross country, things like that, the stiffer the sole, the more efficient you're gonna be while you're pedaling. But what's nice though is that Another you know, big standout feature with mountain bike shoes is you do have this molded toe cap here. So you can see it's very hard, which is awesome protection from rock strikes. And you've got some of that reinforcement here along the inside as well as the outside. Now on the sole of these, so here's one of the big differences between these three. So obviously with the flat, you're gonna be using flat pedals. And so they all use Fox's UltraTac rubber, but a big difference here with the flat is that it uses a different compound. So it's actually a softer rubber than with the other two. And obviously you're gonna need that so your pins on your pedals can really dig into the bottom of your shoes and give you the best grip possible. But I really like this pattern that they're using. And I can tell that this material is gonna be very grippy because even when I just take my fingernail and press on it, you can see the indent on my fingernail and it stays there. So which means it's a soft, grippy rubber compound. So it's gonna do a really good job. So that's the Union Flat, again, awesome shoe. Like I said, when I try these on, they've got enough flex that it's gonna be fine for walking around, but gonna give you great support on the bike. All right, now moving on. We have the Union, Union Boa. Obviously the big difference here is gonna be these are a clipless shoe. Now, if you're new to this, uh, something to keep in mind is that when you buy a pair of these, they're not gonna come with the cleats for your pedals. The cleats will come with the pedals when you buy those and then you put these on here. But these are gonna take 
any cleat style. You can have the SPD from Shimano, the Crank Brothers, HT, all those are, are going to work just fine with these shoes. Now, with these, a couple of the, the biggest factors here is the sole on a clipless shoe is a lot stiffer. And the reason for that is because, well, since you're relying on the cleat to keep you locked in the pedal versus the actual rubber compound on your pins, you just don't need it to be as flexible. So a couple of the big benefits, so I ride with clipless uh, pedals, and the biggest factors that I like a clipless shoe is, one, it just helps me be locked in the bike, so when I'm riding aggressive downhill, my feet are just planted, stuck to the pedals. I don't have to worry about them shifting around and moving. I also like it for climbing. If you're doing, say, technical climbing on your mountain bike, I like that when I go to, say, lift up the rear tire over an obstacle, being clipped in the bike kind of helps pull the bike with me. And so, you know, those are some of the benefits that I like. And then also, you know, being that it does have a much stiffer sole, you could argue that you get a little bit more efficiency out of your pedaling using a shoe like this. But again, same construction, mold of toe box, everything there is gonna be the same. Now, a couple differences here between this and the Union Boa. This obviously has a lace with the Velcro strap. This ultimately is probably just gonna come down to rider preference and what you think looks cooler. For me personally, from a style standpoint, I like the lace system. Just kind of a more traditional look. Yeah, I gotta give it to Fox. I think they did a good job as far as the design of the shoe. It's a good looking shoe, but I like that their logo right here. It's just nice and subtle. They didn't go crazy. So yeah, it's just a good looking shoe. Now again, same style or same design with the sole. Like I said, the rubber is gonna be a little bit firmer and these pieces here you can see are spaced out a little bit more than with the flat because obviously you're not relying on your pins to dig into that. But uh, it's gonna be the same con or same rubber. Now, another cool little feature about the Union and the Union Boa is that the insole, when I take this out, you actually have two inserts for the bottom of this. You have one for low and one for a high arch support. And so what's cool about that is it just allows you as the rider to go in. So you're gonna get it, it's gonna come with the low arch support, but if you know what, if you have a tall arch, you can just take this one, slap it on there, find out which one works the best for you, gives you the most comfort, and you can rock that one. So it's pretty cool. I haven't seen other companies do that yet where they're actually giving you interchangeable inserts for the arch, so pretty cool. Okay, now let's move on to the BOA. What I like is that they actually have two straps with the BOA system. And the reason that I think that's important because I've ridden in uh, shoes that use a, it wasn't the BOA, but it was a very similar system, but it just had the one dial up here at the very top and I cranked that dial down but I just never felt like I could get even pressure all the way across my foot on the top. Now when I put these on, what I liked is that I can just dial in each one of these and get it exactly how I want it. So this with this lower one, if you have wider feet, you can leave this lower one and you know a little bit looser and then really crank down the upper or vice versa. But it, it is nice that you can just go through and dial those down and get that shoe to fit exactly how you want it and it does a really good job. Another notable difference that I do want to point out is you notice that with the Union, being that it is just laces underneath that, you're just gonna have all mesh. But with the BOA, they actually do have that TPU coating here on top of the tongue. So for weather resistance, if you ride in a lot of wet conditions, Pacific Northwest or whatever, you know that is gonna help keep a lot more water out than you would have with just the regular Union. But like I said, the fit is pretty much identical on both. That's just gonna be rider preference. You do bump up in price going to the BOA system, but you know, as far as just getting the best customized fit, it's gonna be really hard to beat this option. And that's them. Those are the three different Union shoes from Fox Race. And again, you got the Union Flat, which phenomenal grip, very comfortable. The Union and the Union Boa, if you're gonna be rocking clipless. If you have more questions about clipless versus flat, I'm more than happy to give you some more of my feedback. Or leave your comments down below. Have you ridden them both? Which one do you like? Which one you don't like? You know, do you go back and forth? You know, give the pros and cons of what you think each has. We'd love to hear that feedback. But as always, to grab a set of these today, you can click on the link or head over to RockyMountainATVMC.com. We ship for free over 75 bucks. And if you want to stay up to date on videos like this, get subscribed to the Rocky Mountain YouTube channel, hit the notification bell, and that way you'll always stay up to date. I am Chase, and we'll see you on the trails.